Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, we have a list of 15 properties, just all on the Toronto Real Estate Board system, nothing on the Oakville Milton system that's any different than any of these. There's a few of these that are on the other system. So uh, a couple price changes and some good deals and, uh, and one new listing from our team. We'll talk about that. Now there's a couple of examples in today's list of places that could really use good photos. First of all, I think the price is a little bit high on this one here at Courtyards on Main. Um, it's a good location, get on the highway super easy. That's a blurry picture and it's taken at night. It's just, I I don't know. And, and like, I guess it's staged with little teacups and things like that. I don't think that's the way the target audience of this home lives. I don't think that um, a young buyer, let's say, is going to set teacups on the table kind of thing. It just doesn't, you have to stay real. I remember years ago, I had um, a stage where we just hired for one project and she put two wine glasses right by the bathtub and I said, get that out of here. Nobody does stuff like that. It, it looked okay. Uh, but it just, it wasn't authentic. It wasn't real. And I think people can pick up on that pretty easily. That's an attempt, by the way, to try and show the high ceilings. And it kind of just looks like an awful picture. Now there's two condo townhouses in this list. Uh, you've got this one here, and then you've got one for 449. So right away, you're dealing with a $40,000 difference in price. Now this one's listed as a two-story, but if you count, you've got one, two, three stories, and it says it has no basement, and I don't know about that, but what I do know is when you show me, there's a walkout right there, but when you show me a picture like this that has stairs up and has stairs down, it may be a two-story if that's the basement, but it's not with the walkout that's above grade. So how we count square footage even is uh, is above grade square footage. So it looks like a nice open concept layout. Uh, some good finishes in here. A lot of things have been replaced. I like this little breakfast area right here with some extra storage. That's a nice touch, uh, but it's just kind of like probably should have been a three-story if you're thinking about the way that they've listed it in the rest of the description, uh, including down here, Sharon, if you zoom into the room measurements, laundry on the main level, which would be, I guess, your walkout level, and, uh, and then you've got your second level, and then third is your bedrooms. Now, if you guys like Norm Macdonald's comedy, I'll see if we can find a clip for it, but do you remember at the end when he talks about Star Search, it's the end of his performance, and he goes, ladies and gentlemen, hot property. And uh, that's this one here on Gifford. Great looking home, end unit, Hillsview, 1510 square feet plus a finished basement. And uh, nice mature tree in the front. Gifford's a great street. And so inside you've got designer finishes. You really do. This home, I mean, we try and make them look good in the pictures. This one looks even better in person. Uh, extended pantry just on the side here. You've got a nice white kitchen. You have under cabinet lighting. You have, uh, you've got your backsplash here and you've got your quartz counters. And upstairs you've got three bedrooms. That's your ensuite bathroom with a shower. And uh, there's your front bathroom. There's also second floor laundry. And then you've got an open concept finished basement too. So. That, my friends, according to uh, Norm MacDonald, and uh, that's a hot property. Hot property! Now, we spoke yesterday about comparative value, so here's the thing. This one on Kavanaugh is the same model as Gifford, not an end unit, no finished basement, and they're listed for $40,000 more, basically. So. Uh, same as Laurier, it's just, I mean, sometimes the lower price one is just completely kicking your butt. And this, and even the kitchen here, like it's not, there's nothing wrong with this one. It's not as nice as Gifford though. And I'm, I, I, you could say that I'm biased, but I think that if you surveyed a hundred people and asked them, okay, which home would you rather buy? 
uh, even if they're listed for the same price, I feel like Gifford would capture at least 90% of the votes. Now, Pally's had a battle where there were like four listings that came out at the same time. Uh, I think two of them are gone now. And I got 699 here. They were up at, in the sevens. I didn't think they had a lot of legs in the sevens, but you know, sometimes it takes a bit of time just to kind of read the market, figure things out. Uh, it is a four bedroom. Nine foot ceilings. This is a semi detached, but it feels very much. I know it sounds cliche, but it feels very much like a uh, like a detached home with the higher ceilings and just with the overall size. So I like that the kitchen is open concept, but it's kind of, but it's not fully open concept because you've got your entrance here, you've got another entrance here, and then there's a wall. So it's like there's a bit of separation and there's a bit of openness, which is a good balance, I think, for some people. So, Total Gym, I picked mine up for $50 on Let Go, uh, the app. So, couples that work out together, stay together, I suppose. Basement finishes were not great in this home. If I was going to point out a weakness in here, I mean, it's nice that there is extra finished space, but the, the quality of work was not awesome, and uh, the backyard was pretty good. And it's a quiet street, there's uh, very little traffic on Powies. Okay, so next up is Shade Lane. This is the first offering on a resale, uh, at least from an actual finished product for a Brant Haven home. Brant Haven homes are very nice, but here's the thing, 1815 square feet of finished space, guess where you have more finished space? Gifford, and they're asking $120,000 less than this one on Shade Lane. So there's a tendency with people that and in some cases it worked out. It worked out with Heathwood, but there's there's um, a tendency for people to say, well, this is what I paid for it, so this is what it has to be worth. Not necessarily true. Uh, now, they might get a premium for a home like this. I mean, I, I look at this and I think of some of the ones just, uh, just south of the hospital. Uh, but I don't know, I don't see an inside townhouse with you know, 1,800 square feet of finished space, which may include some finished space in the basement being worth this right now. Now, this one to me on Fox is a great buy. We talked about the other Maple uh, building not having great pictures. This one does not have great pictures. It's actually a pretty good layout. It's 1,800 square feet plus a finished basement plus a really nice looking forest and, and a pretty quiet street for less than $900,000. And I don't even want to imagine how much money they've lost if, by having these photos. I think the photos don't work. I think from a staging standpoint, yes, living, that makes sense to have a little kid's area there. You gotta show people that that can be a dining room. So I don't think the finishes are, are the worst thing I've ever seen. Even with these cabinets, if you notice, they're square on top, square on the bottom. That's good for a refinishing. I could come in here, make this kitchen a nice sort of white cream color. They got a little kick plate here, so they have central vacuum. It's a nice little feature. I could go into this home and really make a big difference for not that much money. And uh, and but what you can't change is the location. It's a forest behind. I mean, how awesome is that? double car garage this size man that is to me it's it's wonderful all brick home like 899 it's just, this one is such a steal the presentation of the photos and a bit of the staging is off if if there were a couple tweaks on this one it could play it could even compete you know a hundred thousand dollars more but it's you wouldn't have to spend 100000 to get it to that level. Okay, so that's the list. I hope we can find a clip of, uh, of Norm MacDonald uh, doing... What's that guy's name? The guy who hosted Star Search. Anyway, uh, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Hot property!